This is the electrical power up procedure if we don't have AC external power. After everything has been checked, we apply the battery master to on. Come and check our electric synoptic page, our DC electrical to confirm the APU and the main battery have at least 22 volts. At this point, I would have to wait 30 seconds prior to starting the FireX test if this was a first flight of day. We'll go ahead and assume that it's the first flight of day and perform the fire detection test. Press the fire detection button, looking for all of the fire push switch lights as well as the push arm push to discharge switch lights. Looking for fire system okay advisory message. And I'm also looking for the cargo fire X lights to be illuminated as well. Once that test is complete, I can now fire up the APU. Come up to the overhead panel, select the APU power fuel switch light, come down on ED2 on the status page, looking for PDIGs, APU and bite, SOV open, the door is open. And once the door is open, we can come up and press in the APU start stop switch light and observe the APU start. Once AC electrical power has been established, come back to the AC electrical synoptic page and check the DC electrical synoptic page to confirm everything is in the green. We got good volts, amps, and hertz. To finish the electrical power procedure, whether you're using external AC power or uh, APU power at this point, if your aircraft is equipped with IRS's, which this one is, we'd come down and select each IRS into NAV. And then come up to our FMS to initialize the position. We do this by going to the next page and waiting for the GPS position to populate. Once we get a good signal, we'll be able to grab that GPS position, return to the previous page, and put it in the set position line on R5. For aircraft that are equipped with AHAR systems, the last step of the electrical power up is to initialize the position in the FMS like this, but you don't have the IRS switches to use. And that completes the electrical power up procedure.